Hi, welcome to another episode of Ed Tech Moment, where we show you how to quickly integrate technology into your classroom. I'm your host, Bill Selleck, and today we're going to be looking at Google Docs. We're going to be looking at spreadsheets within Google Docs. If you know Excel or Apple Person, if you know Numbers, then you know Google Docs spreadsheets. You might want to use this for a number of reasons. They're incredibly useful. It's going to give you shared lists, which also could be some sort of schedule that you might share with either a group that you're presenting with, a conference you're helping with, or just a small group of other teachers that you might need to schedule with. With your students, you can either share a rubric or the entire gradebook. If you have any sort of spreadsheet or gradebook or list schedule, anything like that, you can embed that very easily into a web page. I'll show you an example of that. And finally, if you created a form uh, that I showed you a few episodes back, your responses show up as a spreadsheet. So let's jump right into it and see how you can use Google Docs spreadsheets. So now that we're at Google Docs, first thing I wanna show you is how to get to all of your spreadsheets. There you go. You can actually sort by type just by clicking on that little triangle. I already have a folder of some examples I want to show you. First one is just a list. This is someone actually someone else created and is sharing with me. I'm able to edit it and all sorts of other people are able to edit this list. So if I needed to add a new list, I can just come on into insert and insert a row below it, then I can start typing. So this person already had them sketch had them organized. Just add whatever you want to add, and you're done. Really easy way to share and collaboratively create a list. So that's what a list looks like if you have just information. If you have student names, you're going to see I'm just going to very quickly go through all of these student names. You can see how annoying this would be if you had to collect these or email them back and forth, email different spreadsheets. It would get really annoying. Just create one spreadsheet, first name, last name, school, and you're done. The next reason you might want to use a spreadsheet is if you're trying to coordinate tasks, some sort of to-do list amongst other teachers. If you're planning an event like this, EdCamp OCLA, just whatever we needed to keep track of, if there's a due date, who's doing it, and any other notes. If you right-click, Apple People, Control-click, you can insert comments, and it's a great way to keep track that keeps it as kind of a, a side-threaded discussion, just like you would with Google Doc documents. Another great use for a spreadsheet is a schedule. This is one that I didn't help with. This was EdCamp Boston, the original EdCamp. You can see it's a, a pretty big schedule. Just very simple. Here's the room. Here are the times. Here's what that would look like on a website. This is a different schedule, but this is actually branded with the same colors. You just create the row and have it be a certain color. So on the day of the event, I took that spreadsheet and just embedded it. If we made changes to the spreadsheet in Google Docs, it showed up here, which is really cool. And finally, if you have a Google Form, it shows up as a spreadsheet. That's how it collects the information. Each question is a column, and each person that submits that shows up as a row. Great way to collect information, great way to collect email addresses or phone numbers if you need it. Be sure and check us out at edtechmoment.com where you can subscribe and get the latest updates either through iTunes or from YouTube. You can email us feedback at edtechmoment.com if you have any suggestions or questions. You can also just tweet right at us at edtechmoment. And finally, very exciting, Audible is now helping to sponsor us. If you go to audibletrial.com slash edtechmoment, you can get a free 30-day trial of over 100,000 audiobooks. Thanks for taking just a moment.